Hey ladies, it's Deanna and today we are doing another hair tutorial. So yes, it is going to be another um, protective style tutorial for my natural ladies to wear over this winter. Tutorial, you are going to need some jumbo braiding hair. It comes in a packet like this. You don't have to get the Outre brand. Like I said before, you can get any type of jumbo braiding hair and it'll be fine. You're also going to need some bobby pins to keep your style in place. And you are also going to need some rubber bands to secure your jumbo braiding hair at the bottom. Um, I have already done my um, prep for this hairstyle but basically all you want to do to achieve this style is to separate your jumbo braiding hair into three sections it's still even on the little loop that it comes with um, and you're just going to want a two strand twist each section and secure it at the bottom with a rubber band the style that i'm doing today um, that i'm going to show you today is actually a top knot with like a bang now to achieve this style you can actually also use mar braiding hair for my naturals who have like a tighter curl and you want a hair texture that actually mimics your hair more than the jumbo braiding hair because as you can see the jumbo braiding hair is super silky and it doesn't really mimic the natural texture of natural hair you can get the Marley braiding hair to do this and you would basically do the exact same thing you can separate the Marley braiding hair and you can two strand twist it or you can leave the Marley braiding hair as it is hook it like this and then do the exact same tutorial except for it'll look like a loose style versus a twisted style now to prep your hair for this style and my hair is not perfectly prepped for this style just because I'm about to wash my hair as I said in my previous video um, you're going to want to use your eco styler gel or whatever gel you use or whatever smoothing products you use to smooth your hair up to the top of your head and you're going to want to put it in a little ponytail on the top of your head now if you're doing this the night before you know you can put your scarf on it to make sure your edges stay smooth and if you're doing this the day of if you have a blow dryer you can just blow dry it out um, or put your scarf around Around your head and sit under your hooded dryer for about five or ten minutes just to make sure. but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hair that is twisted like this and you're going to either use this rubber band right here to attach it to the ponytail that we're going to imagine is on top of my head um, but I'm going to use this bobby pin right here so you're going to attach it mm, 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 to your ponytail and you can do this as far up or as far back as you want. It all depends on what you're comfortable with and how many packs of hair you use is also, you know, depending on what size bun you're comfortable with or how big you want this. And so to achieve the style, what you're going to do is pull these two out of the way and just take one of the twists and start forming a bun around your ponytail or my imaginary ponytail. And so you're just going to want to wrap it around and create a bun. And whoop, bobby pin that into place. Now, of course, because I do not have a ponytail on top of my head, my bun is not going to look perfect. But you guys get the gist of it. So that's part of your bun. That's my hair sticking out. You're going to take your other little twist. And you're going to build your bun up a little bit higher like that and so this really depends on how big you like your bun what shape you like it what size you like it but you just really want to create the bun on top of your head if you twist the cankalon hair tighter your twist will clearly be tighter and your bun will be smaller and if you leave it a little bit looser you know your bun will be a little bit looser okay so now we have our bun on top of our head mine looks a little wacky just because i don't actually have a ponytail under there and actually for my ladies who have smaller ponytails or maybe not as much hair what you can do is take a little bit of your connecolon hair maybe one of these twists and cut it off like that and kind of roll it up into a ball and actually before you start wrapping your hair around put this at the base of where your bun is going to be to use it as stuffing to actually fluff up your hair a little bit more but now that we have our bun 
we're going to take this last twist that we have and we're actually going to turn that into a bang. So just de decide how low you want your bang or how high you want your bang or even if you don't want a bang and you just want kind of like a little, I like to call them cinnamon rolls, but a little cinnamon roll in the front. You can do that too. And what you basically do is just take the hair and do kind of like a pin curl and do a little cinnamon bun in the front and I'll pin that for a second. Little cinnamon roll bang. And if you didn't want to do a cinnamon roll bang and you actually wanted to do a real bang, you just swoop it like this and kind of fold it over and kind of tuck the end under your bun like that and then pin your side right there for this side just make sure whenever you're doing styles like this you want to make sure that you have your ends tucked in and you have enough pins to kind of make sure your hair isn't going anywhere and And there you have it, your finished product, your bun on top with your bang in the front or your cinnamon roll, whichever you ladies chose. And like you guys can obviously see, this is a very quick and simple style that you can just throw together on one of your days where you just don't want to do anything else to your hair and you want to have it protected. So I hope you ladies enjoyed this tutorial. And of course, you guys' little bun and bang will look better than mine because like I said, I was just doing this so you guys could get the visual and see how to do it and my edges clearly ain't smooth but we're going to ignore that um, I hope you ladies like the tutorial if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below and if you ladies want to see more tutorials like this please let me know in the comments below let me know what you ladies want to see and I will put it together you know this would look real cute if I had on some makeup or something I'm just saying and I hope you like this video and thumbs it up and share it and do you like the style is it cute huh huh all my contact information will also be in the description bar below and until next time ladies bye be a review for a company called bags Inc and it is also going to be a giveaway which I'm really really excited to do because